Ladies and gentlemen, do you realize that Jesus Christ, the Creator, came and He gave His life for you and for me, not because He had to, because He wanted to. The Father didn't twist His arm. Personally, I believe He volunteered. Because I don't think there was anyone else in heaven that met the criteria that could redeem man. He said, I'll go. So he comes to this earth that he spoke into existence. And it was here on this little speck of a planet that he had created by the word of his own mouth that he came, he walked in our shoes, he lived among us, he showed us how to live. And then when the time came for him to offer himself as a sacrifice for you and for me, the creator of it all, who had stripped himself of all the glory that he had in heaven, allowed the beings that he had created to mock him, to spit on him, to beat him, and then nail him to an old rugged cross, and there he hung, suspended between heaven and earth in the most indescribable thing. Why? He did it because he wanted to spend eternity with you, and he wanted to spend eternity with me, and that was the only way that he could do it. Aren't you thankful for Jesus Christ this morning? For 85 years, the Lord has allowed this ministry in various combinations to travel the world, and our message has never changed. Our message is simply this, Jesus is coming again. We believe that, don't we? We're just telling people he's coming again very, very soon. Are you ready to meet him? All you have to do is turn on your television and you can see that this world is a place in her history that she's never been before. And people are fearful now more than ever because they're more uncertain about their future now than they've ever been before. I'm so thankful we serve a God who loved us enough to leave us his word and that we can stand on his promises when everything else is just crumbling around us. His promises stand sure. Aren't you thankful for that church? Amen. Amen. We believe that the gospel of Jesus Christ is what the world needs to hear now. Amen. Amen. As Jesus was being taken back up to his father, his disciples were standing there gazing up, watching him leave. And he said, in essence, when you get this gospel of the kingdom preached to all the world, then I'll come and take you home. Amen. We're still here. So that must mean that there's still some work yet to be done, wouldn't you say? We were talking amongst ourselves the other day, and, and we came to this conclusion that if we could all just band together and partner up, we could cover a whole lot more territory together than we could cover individually. Amen? Amen. And so we'd like to invite you to partner with us this morning to help to take this gospel around the world so we can get the job done that Jesus Christ gave us to do. You say, well, how can we partner with you? I'm so glad you asked. If you would be so kind as to take out that blue envelope that you received in your bulletin when you came in today. I just want to call your attention to something in there very briefly, and then we're going to sing another song or two. If you'll open it up, there's a line in there that says, yes, I would like to become a member of the King's Herald's Faith family. The King's Herald's Faith family is a very, very important group. They're the people that support this ministry on a systematic monthly basis with the financial resources that God's blessed them with. 